so much of the getting ready, I just couldn't really believe it was happening. I was just like, is this really real? Am I really getting married today? Oh my goodness. I can't wait. And the boys have made it amazing because they bought the breakfast and they've done lots of running around all day. It was really relaxed in the house. How that number of people got through two small bathrooms, I'll never know. The only person that was getting a bit hyper was one of my bridesmaids, Carla. She was getting a bit hysterical and she was doing it in a good way as well. She was just so excited. Everything was calm but giggly. Everything went smoothly apart from Sarah's dress needed stitching. One of the little hooks on the back broke. The bridesmaids just called for my mum like, Wendy, have you got a sewing kit? And she just appeared like sewed me together the bridesmaids held it all while she sewed and it was amazing the journey here was obviously very special Sarah and I love VW camper vans we always have done neither of us don't have ever been in one before all the way here I was just chatting to him about nonsense because I was really nervous but really excited so it was another shared experience running around and getting the venue the way Sarah wanted it he was chasing around at 10 o'clock this morning still trying to get the beer ready going to the hotel where we were staying tonight and uh, discovering that my car which was already parked there uh, I had neither the key, so we couldn't actually put the stuff in the hotel room. And it's got a flat tyre. The groomsmen have been brilliant. Dawn for chivying us on arriving and not understanding why we weren't ready at ten past twelve and everything needed to be done. Just wished him the best of luck, really. Just hope that it was what he wanted it to be. Oh, the ceremony was beautiful. Some people sort of said to me, why are you having Star Wars music? It just fitted so well. And so many people since have said to me, best wedding music ever. I just could not wait for her to come through that door. And when she did, she took my breath away and she looked amazing. The walk up the aisle, of course, has got to be my highlight of the day. It was just perfect and so memorable and I'll never forget that. Walking down the aisle was so quick. Apparently I walked really slowly, which I was supposed to do. But I could just see Sean at the end, he was crying. I just couldn't wait to be stood next to him. She made me cry. (laughs) Sarah, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. Day by day, I promise to love you and to honour you. To treasure you and to respect you. To walk with you side by side. In joy and sorrow. You are husband and wife. Do greet each other in the conventional way. We follow you. If I just let you, would you lie with me? Just forget the world. Forget when we're sold. Before we get too old. Show me a garden that's burst into light. For those who don't know, being involved in reenactment means acquiring lots of bulky equipment. You should see the size of Sarah's sword. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sean's looking quite worried at this point, but I'm assured he has a sword of equal proportion, so no need to worry. It's all right. <laughs> that aside, uh, Sarah, when you and I shared that little glance at one another as we stood waiting to walk down the aisle, I mean, that's a moment I'll remember and cherish forever. Sarah and I share a common hobby which involves dressing up in what we tell you is historically accurate costume. It was about nine years ago. One particularly enthusiastic sword swinging regular had huge blue eyes and seemed to want to take my head off every time we fought. Now many here today will think this is strange, but in our world this is code for, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> There's no hiding the age gap between Sarah and I, and we both felt that mm, we knew that there was something different and strong about our relationship, but to take it further, that wasn't possible. Wendy gave Sarah the push she needed to allow her head to follow her heart. We owe you so much, Wendy. And he proceeded to tell me how wonderful she was and how hard he was trying to catch her eye. I knew immediately at that point how special Sarah was. Obviously, Sarah finally relented. (laughs) Sarah has made Sean a very, very happy man. So I wish you both best of luck and your new life together and may all your dreams come true. And the shortest speech, by the way. Get when we're sold Before we get too old To show me a garden that's burst into light how pleased we were to have Sean in the family now and Max and Sam as well. I just keep telling everybody how lovely it's been. <laughs> I 
and I'm so happy for them. I want them to have a long and happy life together. Talk to each other. It's the most important thing. Never stop talking to each other. I think what today emphasises for me is just how surrounded they are by people that think the world of them. And actually, they need never feel alone in the world. And I think they've got a fantastic framework for a happy life together. Make the most of it. Make every day like today. I can't help but love her more every time I wake up and she's there with me. I can't think of a more perfect world to be in. I love Sean so much and I'm so excited that I'm now his wife and we're going to spend all of our lives together. The funny thing is that although we place so much energy and importance on our wedding day, it isn't the biggest day of our life. The biggest day of your life is every day thereafter because it's not the pledge to love someone that matters, but the act of fulfilling that pledge that is most important. It's only just begun. Thank you. Would you lie with me? Just for a couple of